Radioactive Rant podcast contains explicit language. Listener discretion advised. Here we go. Radioactive. Zero filter. Zero tooth. Mark Reynolds and Tom Swain. Oh boy. This <laughs> is Radioactive Rant. Yeah! Hey! Yeah. I watched another documentary. Oh, good. About the devastation of the crack explosion in the 80s. And all it did was make me want crack. (laughs) I'm not kidding. No, it's not good. And by the way, on the last episode, I was yelling pretty much throughout the whole thing. I don't know what that was. Louder than normal. Let me put it that way. Because you and I were just upstairs, and Brenda's like, why are you yelling? And I was just talking normal. So something's going on in the old noggin, I think. And I wanted to bring up the many, many messages about the audio from the security camera at my front door of me cursing. Oh, yes. As, as I enter the house. And I can't tell you how many messages we got. It was just crazy. They liked it? Comments like, he's a douchebag. <laughs> Dude needs to get help. Wow. The radioactive brand pot. Stupid piss lip fucking key. That's me. Stupid fucking shit. Fuck. And the comments went on and on. Something's wrong with that guy. Well. Unstable. What a well, fucking moron. What? Needs Xanax. Whoa. I agree with that one. <laughs> Stupid loser. Mm, nice. His neighbors need to keep their doors locked. Well, they do. These are actual comments from our wonderful listeners. Seems like an asshole. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> Great. They what love the you. Uh, I, I really kind of didn't appreciate any of that. No? Now, you brought up that they're making a TV show called That 90s Show. A long time ago. Well, A, a continuation of That 70s Show. Three right? episodes ago or something. It's a Netflix yeah. series, and I watched the pilot, okay? Ugh. They released, I think, 10 episodes. They made 10 and the, released them? The whole first Ooh. season. I think it's 10. I don't know. Yikes. So they bring back the mom and dad, Red and Kitty Foreman. Okay. Why? Well, they toss in a bunch of teens who cannot oh. act <laughs> at all and make it like it's the 90s, and voila, you have horse shit. Great. In the pilot, Eric. The son, yeah. original son, uh, oh, Topher uh-huh. Grace, right? Yes. He shows up for a visit from Chicago with wife Donna, Laura Prepon, oh, Prepon, yeah, 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 is that yeah, how you yeah. say her name? I don't know. And their nerdy teen daughter, of course, she's nerdy. Mm-hmm. And she decides, the kid, that she wants to stay with her grandparents for the summer in Wisconsin. So that's how it all starts. That's the premise of the Having show. kids back in the house. And yeah. I have to say, though, Topher Grace, Looks exactly the same as he did on that 70s show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it started in 98. It ran through 2006. Wow, 98? It ended 17 years ago. Mm. Yeah. Laura Prepon yeah, how she does doing? not look exactly not the up? same. And I'm going to leave it at that. Oh. Okay. I now, liked her. the new cast of kids is horrible. Delightful. Not one is salvageable. <laughs> not one. I'm not kidding you. The acting is lame, the jokes are lame, and the whole idea is, too. Yes. The entire thing is stupid. It's badly regurgitated horseshit from what what I saw. That's what they like nowadays. Now, the cameos of the people on the original That 70s Show just Mm -hmm. made me want to see That 70s Show. (laughs) That's true. I did. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah. The young cast, though, is an epic fail. Uh. Terrible. Which brings up that million dollar question. Why can't anyone come up with anything new? They, I don't know. That's original. They can. They just don't like it. Now, I could not get past the pilot. That was it. There's 10 episodes. And I love that 70s show. Yeah. Remember the 90s? Because no one on the writing staff for that show did. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. We'll see none of the iconic decade. Maybe they're crack. 
It's a show for Gen Z Ooh. by Gen Z. Ah, of and the that 90s? should tell you everything. It's terrible. What they think the 90s was. Right. Mm. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Now, there was a great comment about the new That 90s Show. Mm-hmm. I'm going to share with you some viewer, okay? Okay. Netflix has once again tried to impose stereotypes that just don't feel natural. If yeah. anything, it should be called That 2020s Show ah. instead of 90s as they keep trying to force the new progress culture on us in every way. Oh, that was one of those. put it all into perspective for me. You gotcha. know, Aston Crotcher, is that his name? <laughs> oh yeah, does I he make remember. an appearance? And Mila Kunis, yeah, they do have a cameo as Michael Kelso and Jackie Burkhart. They're uh, semi big time stars now. Yes, they are. They awkwardly just pop into the foreman's kitchen. It's very of weird. Course. They have a stupid son. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. That's about where I left off, and will leave off. I'm not going back. And they no still way. live in Wisconsin, supposedly. Uh-huh. Just the Foremans do. Oh, yeah, oh you mean the, the Kelso? The Ashton Kutcher and yeah. I told you, I couldn't get past the pilot. That was like at the end. I'm like, I can't Ugh. take any more of this shit. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. Sounds so. like I got to avoid it. So thanks for bringing that up. Is no problem. Here, okay. We're going to do a radioactive rant recap. And okay. that's where we talk about what was on the last radioactive rant podcast. Right. To get everyone up to date. Right, right. We're going to read a few text messages from our listeners, and most of the episodes are the fucking... Whoa! See, that's going to be a problem. That might be. We're going to read a few text messages from our listeners, and most of the messages refer to the prior episode. Correct. So some of you might be listening for the first time. Maybe you missed the last episode. Yeah. have no idea what we're talking about. So in the last episode... I mentioned trying to get motivated to turn one of my original screenplays into a book. Yes. And we dove into the disturbing Netflix docuseries called Don't Pick Up the Phone. Remember? Yes. About that creep claiming to be a cop who used to call fast food restaurants and convince the managers to strip search young female employees. Yuck. And much more we talked about. So if you missed that episode, well, that's on you. Go back and listen to it. Go to RadioactiveRant.com, though. Go to RadioactiveRant.com if you want to get in touch with us. Go to contact page, and that's where you can find out how to message us, and we're going to read messages right now. Episode 80. 80? Yeah, already up to 80. Holy crap. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You all right there? No. (laughs) Allen, Twinsburg, Ohio. There's a shit stuff. Fucking (laughs) shit balls. There's a shit ton of stuff. Alan says, yes. and he's from Twinsburg, Ohio, and wherever is. that is. Yeah. He says there's a shit ton of stuff that's unbelievable in this world, but the documentary mm-hmm. Don't Answer the Phone tops the list. Sorry I watched all three parts. Ow. Yeah, it's a head scratcher. I couldn't get through all three. No way. Colin, Hackensack, New Jersey. I think the fast food managers, as well as the young girls featured in Don't Answer the Phone, were all idiots. Gullible. Yeah. But yeah, kind of dumb. Robbie, Tawanda, New York. Tawanda, New Uh, York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Robbie. Maybe. No, I don't know. I think that's what it is. Sure. Mark writing a book is laughable. (laughs) I bet he would have a hard time scribbling out his own name, yet alone a novel. Wow. You know, it's comments like that that fill my heart with joy. Wait, I meant rage. It's rage is what it is. (laughs) Libby, Kissimmee, Florida. Saying that a girl you went out with in high school, son of a bitch. (laughs) We're not doing this this week. Saying that a girl you went out with in the late 70s smelled like egg. Saying (laughs) that a girl you went out with in the late 70s smelled like egg salad and was a hose beast was rude and uncalled for. You're an asshole. You don't even know the girl. She might have. Well, you know what, Libby? This person. Is judging too harshly. What I forgot to mention uh-huh. was that hose beast ended up moving to Kissimmee, Florida <laughs> to be around other hose beasts. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Nice. Irwin, Reno, Nevada. I've been there. Nevada? Ooh. 
Nevada. Nice to see us not in the Nevada. Pond, so don't don't message. They'll you. shoot you there. Nevada. Irwin says the radioactive rant podcast is stupid. Mm-hmm. I listen for the first and last time. All it is are two assholes rambling on and on. You know, that's interesting because that's the exact description of this fucking podcast. That's it. So go ahead and suck my bloody. Whoa! <laughs> and that's the messages. The party messages. The party oh, messages. Oh, we hope to hear from you next time. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Is it? Yeah. All right, there you go. If you would like to message us, you can go to uh, RadioactiveRant.com. That's the place. And go to the contact page and you're in like Flynn. Yeah! All right, it's time for the Radioactive Rant Trivial Pursuit TV Trivia Cards Classic Television Questions Game. Woo! That's a mouthful. Nice intro. Now, I found these cards out in the garage, minus the actual game, just the TV trivia cards from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Yeah. So, your first question. On the Radioactive Rant Trivial Pursuit TV Trivia Cards Classic Television Questions Game. <laughs> Ah, in Bewitched. Yes. Who was the witch doctor that treats Samantha? Now you got to be a pretty big fan of that show to know this. No. I don't know. Dr. Bombay. Does that ring a bell? Nope. Yeah, me neither. Number two. What was Jason Seaver's profession on Growing Pains? The dad. Alan Thick. Was he a psychologist? Mm. No, what? he was a psychiatrist. Same thing. No, it's not. And it's dealing with Same. crazy people. Moving on. Uh, Number three. In which TV commercial was the product slogan, take it off, take it all off? What? No? Hmm. Uh-uh. Noxzema shave cream. No, seem a shave cream. So the commercial showed a sexy woman while you heard the slogan, take it off, take it all off. Uh-huh. The closer you shave, the more you need Noxzema. And you heard a band playing the song usually associated with striptease acts back in the 60s. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I had to look that commercial up because I forgot about it. Well, I'll have to and check then, it yeah, out. It's pretty good. And I really like the song. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Shut up. They don't make commercials like that anymore. No, they really for some don't, reason. do they? Yeah, there's a reason for that. Okay, your fourth one. Uh-huh. Your fourth question. If I can get this one. On the Radioactive Rant Trivial Pursuit TV Trivia Cards Classic Television Questions Game. That's the one. On the Jeffersons. Uh-huh. What was Louise, Wheezy, and George's son's name? Fuck that shit. <gasps> really? Oh, I can't really? Ah. Lionel. Lionel. Lionel was the name Damn it. of the dude that was the oh, son God. on Jefferson. Uh, <laughs> and I'm looking for where I need to be on the board on the thing. Ah. All right, moving on. Oh, God. It's the Radioactive Rant Celebrity Rant. This is where we call out celebrities that annoy us. It's predominantly famous people or people that are famous that we deem should not be famous. Yes. Okay. So who do you have? I have James Gunn. I don't writer, know who that is. Director, producer, yeah. tweeter actor i don't, I don't know. know if he's acted or I don't, I don't know i don't care okay why you hate him i don't like this scumbag because he shit canned henry cavill superman you know yeah. mm-hmm. and is keeping ezra miller the fucking criminal around okay. i don't understand this me neither henry Literally. cavill is a great dude very down to earth knows he's a super nerd Knows Superman and all this stuff. Yeah. But no, can't have him. No. Got to keep the weird freak around. Sure. That has beaten women, uh, done some break-ins, mm, stuff nice. like that. Very yeah. nice gentleman. Mm-hmm. Ezra Miller. I think he was on my list a few that a definitely episodes ago. A few back. 
Anyway, so that's mine. James James Gunn. That okay. ass nugget. Mine is Ken Jong. Gene Jong, I don't know how to say his last name. The Korean guy? Yeah, he was the idiot oh. that was just kind of funny in the first Hangover movie. After that, meh, you know. Oh, that's right. Now, I don't yeah. know if you know this, and you might, but he's an actual licensed physician. Yes, I did know he was a doctor. And I really wish he kept Fish. that profession and stayed out of Hollywood. <laughs> I do. He appears as a panelist on the unwatchable The Mass Singer TV show. Oh. He's the biggest reason the show's excruciating. It's horrible. Watched it once. Everyone on the panel on that show, including the butthole host, mm -hmm. make straight up fools of themselves, proving that people will watch virtually anything put in front of them. That's true. Right? Even Brenda, who has mega tolerance for pretty much any reality type show, she stopped watching The Masked Singer because the knobs on that show were so irritating. And she still watches Big Brother. Exactly. So back to that Yikes. waffle, <laughs> Ken Jong, <laughs> Fucking moron. I hate that kind of waffle. Fake, uh -huh. stupid, cringeworthy, over the top, not funny at all. No. Dude, go back to medicine. Yeah. You're a lousy sack of shit. Maybe at least if he did that. Uh -huh. He could be an asset to something instead of being an unfunny fuck wall. Ah! And that's celebrity. I don't know. Oh, I maybe, just maybe can't he was stand. a bad doctor too. On top of that. I'm telling you, man, that guy gets under my skin every which way to lose. <laughs> I don't know why. Now that was a great movie. That was a very good movie. Clint Eastwood. And a monkey. Yes, that's right. All right, moving on to listener rant, where the listeners of this podcast send in the things that anger them. Okay. Go to radioactiverant.com. That's the place. Click on the listener rant. Do it. That's where you can see our growing list of what people hate. Click on the contact page. That's Gosh, nice. damn it. <laughs> By the way, we're not doing that. <laughs> Click on the contact page and message us with what bugs you, and maybe we'll read it on the podcast. Okay. Here's a few things our listeners can't stand. Reggie, Holly Springs, Mississippi. Reggie doesn't like uh -huh. people who tell you someone said something about you when they actually said nothing at all. I say use that. Yeah. Beat the crap out of them anyway. Go for it. Win, win. Jarvis, Libby, Montana. When some idiot microwaves fish in the break room at work. Mm, yeah. Or anywhere. You know what? Microwave I remember fish. one job I had. Years ago, some dude used to do that all the time. It was the fish. And every time it would remind me of a girl I used to date back in high school. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Is she in Kissimmee, St. <laughs> Cloud, too? Probably now. Okay. Miranda, Granville, Ohio. Miranda doesn't like Miranda. <laughs> Are you sober? I wish I wasn't. <laughs> I really do. Miranda doesn't like people who beat others up for entertainment. Does she mean physically or verbally? Huh? Because either way, I'm all for it. Uh, it's entertaining. about MMA or boxing in general? I think she's just like, you know, verbally bashing somebody just for fun. All of it's fine. I'm good. I like all of the verbal and physical uh -huh. violence. Uh -huh. Buddy, Anchorage, Alaska. Mm. When someone makes fun of my drawings, he doesn't like that. Oh, that's a shame. Buddy, clearly Draw you're better. no artist. Yeah. You know what I Draw mean? Draw better. Move on to something you're better at, like bitching and moaning about people making fun of you. There you go. Try that. You're real good at that, buddy. You can make your own podcast. Cole, San Antonio, Texas. He doesn't like hour-long meetings that provide as much information as a simple email could have accomplished. Again, uh, people love to hear themselves talk mm -hmm. and talk. That's and modern talk. work. It's Absolutely. Freaking meetings. There you go. That's what you want. Another one. Yeah, another one. In the can. <laughs> oh, it needs to be in a can. Yeah, this was a challenging one. Are we going to say, hey, people? No, we're please. not. Please. Nope, nope, nope. Stop. Right Stop. Because they don't. It's a you waste of your sacks of shit. Well, that doesn't help. It doesn't? No. Oh. So what I'm thinking now that mm -hmm. we've done this podcast, and we have a little bit of time. Do we? Before oh, we you do. are heading out. Maybe we do it over. <laughs> the whole <laughs> fucking thing. 
It was a cluster. Ah! I'm telling you. <laughs> it was a big old. It was, uh, we look like. I'm an asshole. Uh-huh. I don't know, man. Not a good one. It was definitely. Oh, the high end on that. Wow. It was definitely. That jerk is a yeah. pompous, shit-eating slut. It's a, well, no. I want to see if that's still recording. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You're like, eh. Because we're not doing that That's one. not going up on no, the it really isn't. internet. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. And people don't know that are listening. Right. They have no idea what we're talking about. Uh-uh. Should we mention it? Since uh, we're not going to do it? Maybe. And I went through all this fucking trouble. Yeah, man. all that. And we were we were videotaping this. this this podcast. But we're not we'll just leave it at that. We were visit yeah. That's why we're not gonna <laughs> we were videotaping this podcast, but I, I, I don't this is just not made for video, man. Have you seen the live yeah, podcast? But I am mess, just man. But they do it anyway. Nuts about seeing this video. I am not looking forward Look. to it. It's not going to be there's, good. There's some magic with af- After Effects. Well, you can't figure Edit it out, it all though. out. It's hard. I'll figure it out. It's too hard. It's not. Too much trouble. I can do it. No, I don't. I don't. This one's definitely not going up <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> it needs to be erased the second we get off here. Okay. It really does. It was so it's bad. It's taking up a lot of room. That's why I'm really thinking we should possibly just do this whole one over. Because it, <laughs> it's not a long one. <laughs> it wasn't. No. Oh, I'd rather hear the yodeling pickle than I would watch this video of this <laughs> a, a podcast. It was horrible. It was bad. Oh, Magic 8-Ball. Here you go. Oh, okay. And by the way, I was a little bit uh, ticked off of you because the last podcast, Me? you wanted Me to ask the... the... No, no, you. Tom. Me? Okay. Because... You wanted to ask the magic eight ball a question. Yeah. And you're like, ask eight ball. Yeah. It's the magic eight uh, ball. Not that hard. the title of the toy. Yes. How so, dare I? Magic eight ball. Oh, I hate asking this question because we usually do what it says. It really hates you too. But magic eight ball. Mm-hmm. Should we post the video of this horrible podcast? Let's see. What's it got to say? Maybe not. Ah! I love the Magic 8-Ball now. I really do. Yeah. Uh, well, I already know we're not. Huh? Okay. There's no way. All right. There's always the drawing board, right? The drawing board? Back to the drawing oh, board. Oh, uh, back to it. Yeah, okay. There's always the drawing board, and maybe That's we true. can figure this out. Okay. We have yet to figure out the podcast, and it's been 80 episodes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and we had another podcast, which we had 125 episodes. We eventually figured that one out. Yeah, so we're fucked and to hell. we stopped it. Yeah, we did finally stop that one. Yeah. With all the listeners. Top 10 in yeah, the world. In the world, globally. Why did we do that? Yeah, because we're idiots. Yeah. We're just stupid, stupid idiots. And on that note, <laughs> we're going to leave. <laughs> Bye. You just heard the Radioactive Rant podcast with Mark Reynolds and Tom Swain. Find out more at RadioactiveRant.com. I'm Doc Holliday for Radioactive Rant.